So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're gonna get a barrel. Like we got it. Like I've, I've talked it up. I've talked it up for weeks and weeks and weeks. <laughs> Not knowing where you're going. It's hot. So guys, if you're enjoying our videos and you're liking what you're seeing, make please... sure you hit that bloody subscribe <laughs> button. Hit it now. It just means we can keep doing what we're doing and we are absolutely loving sharing our adventures with you. So here we are, the Pentecost River. So we're on the Gib, the Gib River Road. But before we do the Gib River, we're gonna smash out something called the Karunji Track. Oh, Max is rolling. See you, Max. Put your foot on the brake. <laughs> the handbrake's come off. Oh, that's hilarious. But anyway, the Karunji Track. Um, it only goes for about 60 kilometers but it is renowned for the track just going into a whole heap of different ways and lots of people getting lost. And if you get lost, you can sink into some real soft mud. So it goes over massive floodplains there. So they're big um, mud flats at the moment. So it starts here, just on the Pentecost where the, the Gib crosses it. And we head up to Wynnum, it, it passes through Diggers Rest. So guys, this is gonna be a fun one. The combi is gonna be put to its limits once again and I think it's going to be fun. I think the scenery is meant to be epic. Can't wait. Let's do it. We don't actually know where we're going yet. So this yet. is a perfect example. <laughs> we got, we're doing a track that has no signage. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So we're going in here. So you're probably hearing the voice of a friend of ours. Uh, we've played it. So then considering you can get lost on these um, mud flats and if we were to get stuck, we'd be screwed. Um, we are tagging along with someone else or they're tagging along with Safety us. Safety in numbers. And also, they've already been through this track before, haven't they? And they got yeah. lost. Uh, yeah, okay, so they've been through <laughs> here and they've got lost, and here they are. Yeah. So this, um, is the, this is the beginning of it. This is the beginning. It's this exciting. It. It's, I love um, it. Rocky and Sandy. Oh, please. it's very sandy. Are you going to let your tyres down a bit more? Yeah, I'll do it up here because I think this is pretty much the same from here on in. Yeah, right up. Yeah, we'll probably do the same. I'll knock a couple of bits. Turn it up. And we'll, um, do it. All right. What do you say? Uh, he said, yeah, that it's pretty much sandy. So from the Pentecost entry, that first section is where it's sandy and mostly a bit rough. And then it just opens up on the mud flat. So you can see here, it's starting to get a bit softer. And it's very dry out here. Extremely dusty. Yeah, she starts getting a bit sandy. I think you've got to pick your tracks pretty wisely, like you can see here. Like we'll get up that easy, but you know, if this is the beginning, we don't know really how how much further we've got. But these are the sorts of places you can stay on along this uh, Pentecost. They're right on the water. Um, this is all tidal, so plenty of salties and plenty of barra. I hope, I hope. There we are. So, I'm just gonna do 15. We don't know what's coming. This is the one that they matched. All right, tyres are let down, and who's going first? Are we going first, yeah, or are they going first? We're going to go first, but he okay. might take over. Let's just do a quick pee. Oh, he's doing a quick pee, apparently. <laughs> he's doing a quick pee. It's always important.
Where are we? On the river. Yeah. So and and we have to come back in. Well, I reckon we've got to take a right somewhere to get up to here, if that's 100%. Right. This track's kind of on route here. Yeah, I think... So if we see a right, take a right. Okay, if we see a right, take a right. There you go. Chris O's running hammer on his, um, in his tundra. Our hammer isn't working at the moment. We're falling out of reception and it's decided not to work. So we're lucky he's got it because this is the beginning of not knowing where you're going. It's hot. There's no sharp rocks in there. Woo! <laughs> so guys, we're only five minutes yeah, in, and already like this is harder than the Harry's Hole track. Like it is, it's starting to really throw a few challenges at us. I don't know if it's harder. What was that, mate? Go 35. Go 35. Oh. Oh. Way more hectic than I expected. Tell you, man, this is harder than the Harry's Hole. Okay, okay. Start, I'm starting to believe you now. Whoa. Oh, hang on. I just left in the front left then. Far out. I think it's just. Whoa. I feel like it's more intricate. It's just. This feels like really intricate driving. Harry's hole had um, smooth and dropped. Really yeah, rounded. they got all the sharp ones. These are sharp. These are sharp, and they are everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. So, we're, we're just approaching a gate at the moment. Uh, there's also a left-hand turn, so do we have to go through the gate? Yeah, I'll just have a look and see what it says. I'll take this so This is private property. So I think we're going in there. I think is that is that where we're going? Well, is it in here? Apparently there are gates. Yeah, it's supposedly it's leased, but it's um it's El Cuestro land. So it's El Cuestro land, right? And this is so this is the gate. What's this? What yeah, 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 yeah so the Karunji track. track. So it's saying stay on this and don't go left or right. Road shortcut the land on both sides is private property. Oh, well, it's the yeah, same. Yeah, it's saying sweet ass. Just, we can go in. Oh, we can? Well, that's how it... Well, someone's gone in. So it's right ah. here, look. The Karajini, or is it Karajini? Yeah, so we're, we're headed in. Um, so that was only probably not too far off the Pentecost turn-off there. Um, fun little drive. You've got the beautiful ranges off to the side here. The Pentecost off to the left, which you can camp at any point until you go through this gate. So we'll see how this looks. Hot. I'm sweating. Whoa. So we're getting rough again. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. hold this, I'm gonna need three hands. No doubt, Carsten's thinking that there might be some barra in there. <laughs> are you thinking there's some barra in there? What are you thinking? There's got to be barra somewhere, and if there is, I'm bloody catching it. You know if what? I'm, not, Chris, I'm, catch I'm, I'm sick of hearing about all these barra. I want to see the barra. I've never seen one of his. He, re he reckons he, he just gets photos from other people's barras. <laughs> it's like a barra hole, isn't it? Look at this, someone's camping. I know, so what do they know? Yeah, somebody had a car here for sure. Are you going to flick a line? Nah, I'm not. Nah. There's bigger ones. I only go for the big dog. Um, this is where tracks are starting to head off to the left and right. Um, so this is the perfect example of why you need like a GPS map like Hema. Um, there are just tracks going absolutely everywhere out here and they all look the same. There's no signs. There was like an arrow on the ground, but hey, who's to say that's the right way to go? So every time the wet season comes around, um, 
the water pretty much eliminates the majority of this track. So it's always changing. So what it is on Hemmer one year might be different the next. And I think that's what makes this track a little bit difficult. Um, and we're not even in like the hardest part yet. We've still got to go over the mud flats. Woo! Oh jeez, look at this. So you've probably seen the um, Karunji track, just, it's just swerving its way between the ranges and the Pentecost here. The, um, the tide's hammering out at the moment. Um, you can see like the water comes up pretty high. It's been full moon lately. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're gonna get a barrel. Like we got it, like I've, I've talked it up. I've talked it up for weeks and weeks and weeks and months and have not caught one yet. So, but I have a feeling, I have a feeling today is the day. It's gotta be the day. Surely, if I can't bloody catch one on the Pentecost and a full moon, I've got no hope. Very crocky. It's just probably like a little water crossing of some sort. Not crocky. It looks crocky to me. I think we go, this might be where we went wrong, maybe we go right here. And then there's a left up here, and that would have taken us to the other mud flats on the other side of that thing. Did he say that's, that no, we've gone no, the wrong no, way? No, no, he's. So which way are you going? Left here. Fifteen years ago, hey? See what I mean, guys? Like, there's tracks just going left, right, right, left. Um, this, to, this to be real, this, this 
track didn't look like it had been used recently, so... No, no, it did. There was definitely tyre tracks, but... Well, maybe people just camp here and then do fishing in that little spot just there. Oh, who knows? But th this is what I mean, guys. Like, there's, there's, yeah, there's so many different ways to go out here. Yeah, like, if you're going to do this, you definitely want to do it with someone else. Nah, I would say, have backup. Oh, no. <laughs> You know what, like, well, I think we would have tackled this track by ourselves. Anyway, like, there's nothing sketchy about it. And we're not even at the end yet. Yeah. And it's getting late. Oh yeah, also, I think we've got about an hour's worth of um, sunlight left, so we yeah. kind of need to figure out where we're going to stay, where we're going to go The plan was to sort of head towards Digger's Rest, um, but it's looking more and more that we're probably going to have to stay, pull up camp somewhere on the, um, on the track. That's, there's meteries in here, but that's probably too big for dinner, wasn't it? No. Yeah. It, was, it nah. might have been 900. This is a big one, mate. <laughs> that's a monster. That, that was that. Oh my God, one how's that? that? How was the panic? We just jumped for him. Oh, I had him on me and, he st and, he, and his bloody dorsal fin stabbed into my gut. I love how both Can of we you. We get a hook out, please. <laughs> both of you weren't even thinking about crocs. You were just oh, thinking no. about like getting this big, big ass barra. Oh, Wow. So we've got about 45 minutes till the sun goes down. We were going to continue on, but I think we're way too excited about these barras and we'd love to eat barra for dinner. So I think we're going to stay here a little bit longer. Get him in. I don't know. Matt! Where is, is it? Yeah, oh, that, that's the smallest one I've ever seen. That's all we got. <laughs> we only catch more from the family. That's the smallest one I've ever seen. Oh, 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 oh. Zoom in! It's huge. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I'll move back. Just right, move back. back. Oh, this is very important. 
Yeah, very important. It's even bigger! Oh. oh my god! That's like a 20 meter oh barrel god. size thing! Huge! I don't know what we're gonna do. Has you got a poker stick too, just in case crocs? Um, how are we gonna grab it? I don't know what we're we, we don't fun. catch meter barrels every day. Oh, we don't know what to do. This we don't know what to do. Thing. We don't catch fish like this. <laughs> what do you know. catch when the fish weigh? Look, how do you get a fish that weighs as much as a small child in? <laughs> if someone could please leave it in the comments, that'd be great. Because <laughs> the way we're going to do it is probably so against everything. <laughs> well, like, we're going to have to make a cage for me Cooks, to walk in with. Cook's fishing club. We need a big stick. Where's our other kids? What have we got? What have we got? Oh, let's 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 brainstorm. Look, come on, I'm a chippy, you're a builder. I'm sure we can come up with something. I know something. We could build a brick wall. You can build a brick wall. Big one. I got something. Right, uh, if we lose this one, I'll just get another one. You're gonna bring it in with a tundra exhaust. <laughs> I've got ten poles up there. That's why we ripped it off. Look at them, look at them first. Oh. Okay, so I'll lift. Now bring it back. Bring him round. Do you want to pull him round? Yeah. Here? Yeah, pull him round. He's using a tundra exhaust. As a croc, there look. So I'm hooked oh, yeah. around. Yeah. Well, that should break, to be honest. Like it should. But. Yeah. Yeah. He's tired. You're gonna get him. Oh, babe. <laughs> What's the plan now? I'm going to grab it. I've never grabbed a big dog oh, no, like this. No, no, no. In the gill, bub. Can you? Fuck. I can't see them. Help Pull it up. Really heavy. Yeah, we've got them in. How do you hold it? I don't know. Woo! 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 Oh. oh my gosh, hit that. So there you go. Where are we again? What's the name of this track? I forgot it. <laughs> got it for Kurujini or Karunji? Karunji. Karunji big dog track, guys. Let me get a size yeah. away. I don't know. I don't think there's that 12 kilo. 12 kilo. I oh, know. 15 kilos. Oh, get it, Get it, quickly. That exhaust, though. Stay behind it. I'll poke it. Just keep that He's tired. There you go. There you go. Here we go. Meter 60! 70. 70, don't do yourself. Meter 70. First barra. First barra. Oh my god, Max. Max, I told you. I told you we'd get that barra. Oh my god. I reckon I get another one. No, it's my turn. It's our turn. Girls turn. Girls turn. Girls turn. Girls turn. Take, take. It's our turn. Is that a barra? Yeah. I don't think it is. It's, it's say it's a, I don't know what this fish is. Oh, <laughs> did, what did it do? What are you eating? Raw pasta. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in your mouth, show me how it goes crunch. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> are you doing that? Mm -hmm. Who's doing that? Me. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm gonna keep fishing tonight. I got the title max, T two one meteries in ten minutes. Just saying. I am very impressed. See what, what I'll, 
I'll write a book and you don't, can read about it. Don't give him any more ego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, stay still. You silly little bugger. You alright that? Yeah. It, it just flew past and just got as caught you... as it went past. Oh. <laughs> Did you get ya? No, he's not fucking coming in. Coming in hot, but he just keeps making it worse. Oh no. You can cut it if you want. I don't know. Oh. Oh, there he goes. Get yourself a chair, Chris. Got myself a chair. The elusive barra. The one metre, one metre camp chair. Yeah, the 900 camp chair. Oh, wow. Do you, get, do you want to get that light out of my face, please? Are you just dreaming about catching <laughs> one metre? I'm ready for bed. Are you just dreaming about catching two in ten minutes? <laughs> well, you're going to be sleeping next to a guy who's done it. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, bub. Good morning. What a beautiful sunrise, like. Looks lovely. Look at that over the top of the ranges. Everyone's been flicking, <laughs> not me. I'm pretty happy. Oh. But I tell you what, that goes to show impromptu stopover. It was getting late, so we had to pull up somewhere. How good was it? What a, can't ask for a better oh. spot than that. Bringing in two meteries. Woo. I still can't get over how big that fish was. Wow. Actually, no. <laughs> anyway, so we've left nice and early this morning and we're heading out to the mud flat, which we've heard are pretty spectacular. Um, we don't know. Well, we've heard. We've heard. So we've, heard. we've seen no glimpse of the mud flats yet. So. No. <coughs> that should be good. Wow. Now, oh, what way do we go? Oh, there's like three different roads. All right. Right, left, or, or middle. straight. Or middle. <laughs> left looks muddy. Is he even on? And right looks more travelled by. Yeah. Look, there's one that way, straight into the mud. There's one that way, which looks like it could be pretty fun. Well, this one here looks like... That looks like the more travelled. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Chris going right, I'm going straight. And we'll see who ends up at the end of the, the road first. Oh, that's just so big out there with the dust going behind them.
Grace, run, Zuri, run. Dad, I can't. <laughs> oh, and that's too? okay, Baba. Too fast. Too We're surrounded by a mirage at the moment, and the scenery is just mesmerizing. This is like nothing else we have ever done. Oh. This is. We thought it might have been similar to the mud flat out near Cameron Corner, but this yeah. thing trumps it hands down. This thing is huge. <laughs> I actually didn't want to leave. I reckon you could have just hung around it all day, just taking it all in. Max was in a trance. I like, was. Carsten made me leave. He's like, Max, we've got to get some new tires. He's like, Max, I've got to go. And I'm like, I don't want to leave. Oh my gosh, this is sucks. <laughs> it really, it honestly, I'm like speechless. I don't even know how to describe it, but if you get an opportunity to come out and you guys, make sure you do it. What's happened? So that was Chris. So Chris left us, what, 20 minutes ago? 15 minutes ago. Oh, longer, I reckon, half. Yeah, so he's driven 20 k's on this road here that we're on. Yeah. And hit a gate that's locked. <gasps> and now he's had to come back. So the reason we took this road is because it looked more traveled, but it's only more traveled because everyone's going up and back on it. <gasps> so he's on his way back. That's why he's come back into reception, saying, which way have you gone? Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, so are we going to wait for him? Oh, we'll just go back and we'll take, take the right. So it's, how crazy is that? And that goes to show, even when you've got maps, there's gates, there's all sorts of stuff. This yeah. is leased land, I believe, off El Cuestro. But so. maybe that gate used to be open and recently they've locked it, who knows? I don't know, I don't know, but it just seems like that road goes to the gate, but if you're not allowed in it, it's locked, so then you've got to turn around and go back. So it makes perfect sense why the road that looks like it's most travelled is most, most travelled. Because travel. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's going up and back on the bloody thing. It goes for 15, 20k. Alright, I'll hop back in. Yes. Righto, we've done a Yui now. Um, we're going to head back. It kind of makes sense because at one point this track crosses over a fence that's fallen down. Did you notice that? Yeah, copy, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Still worth it. That was there you go. It's been epic. Like, I mean. No, like, luckily, we've only been on it maybe for about a K. Oh, yeah, we've just started, whereas Chris O. Chris O's gone the whole way there, and now he's had to come the whole way back. Um, so. It's, it's a perfect example. Like, you just. There are just so many tracks out here, and you just. They all look the same. And this area, this, this track in particular, tracks in particular, are renowned for people getting lost. And we did say that at the beginning of the episode. Yeah. Like, so this is a perfect example. This is a really good example. And We've got all the mapping. We sort of knew where we were going, and we still seem to take the wrong way. Lucky it's early in the day, so we've got plenty of time off our sleeve. Yeah. And um, yeah, hopefully we can find the right direction. So now we're heading back, what we've just done. You'll notice up here, there's a fence. And this is where the fence is um, falling down. It, um, it, looks like a, it looks like a really old fence. Yeah, at some point it's fallen down. They've gone, oh, this might be the way. But you think they'd maybe have some type of um, signage yes. or... Well, who, has, who brings a sign out here with a to tell, like, we could, put, we could put one, but we've got nothing to write in Maybe we write something in the mud flat. Oh, wrong don't, way, wrong way, go wrong. back. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is the turn back here that we just missed it by a bee stick then. So I'll hop out and I'll show you just just how this track can fool you. So you'll see here, the road looks, well it's incredibly travelled. And then there you get to a fork like this. So these, a fork like that, you'd think, go left. Like look how worn that is as opposed to right. Um, and this is how you can cut, you can just you become unstuck out here. And look how muddy it is in some sections. Like this is where the cattle walk through. Um, so there are still muddy sections like that. So, you know, you don't want to take the wrong way. But yeah, look, it's just, it's crazy that, you know, something like this could be the difference between driving 20, 30 k's and hitting a, you know, a locked fence or making your way to dig a rest. I love this shit, eh? It's just so good. Like, this is why we do it. Like, 
<laughs> oh, I got goosebumps. <laughs> just before it started getting like this is that he is about 10 minutes in front. You've got to think 10 minutes on these roads are a significant distance. Yeah, true. Good thing there aren't any mountains or hills in the way. Um, so we are getting drips and drabs, but if we, um, yeah, this, this, this is what he said. It goes off the, goes off the mud flats and then you'll get to a few little four wheel drivey sort of sections. Yeah. So it looks like this is where we're on the money here. Okay. wants it open or if someone's just gotten lazy. Well if we didn't know that Chris was ahead of us we would have just left it as is. Probably would have left it as is yeah. yeah but because he was ahead of us we thought maybe potentially. Maybe he left it open for us yeah. who knows. But there you go he wants it open. wasn't locked but there's a big old sign that says road closed on it. So have we gone No, nah, well way? he got one and it was locked. Um, this is definitely the way because we passed that lagoon and they went through that lagoon. Um, it's just weird that it would have road closed on it. Yeah. Um, there's no other road so we haven't got a bloody choice right now. Oh, We're there's gonna... one down there along the fence. Oh. Yeah, so there's another road down there. So that gate we just passed through had a big sign saying road closed. Now you'd look at it and go, oh my God, we've taken the wrong turn. But on the other side of the sign, it had road open. So the, the sign was actually meant for the people coming this way, I'd assume, I hope. That's what I'm saying, that's what I'm going with. That road open. Why would, 
Doesn't make sense. Anyway. That's scary as shit. Make sure when you come out of the final gate, we have fingers red to turn back and it has the big sign of the Karunji Jack. You might have missed it. Okay. What did he say? I don't know. sign on this one. No, these are, these are the good gates. This is good, this is good. These are the gates we want. <laughs> Turning point, the fog stuck, stuck in, in the road. road. Don't know where we're going. Do we go left to somewhere or to right where we don't know? I think we should go right because it's in my mind. <laughs> delirious. Um, Are we delirious right now? It's getting know. really hot. Um, left or right? He did say when you go to El Cristo. I think he said right. He said right, didn't he? I think he this said This might right. have been what he's talking about. I think we just went the hard way. Yeah, I think we did too. Soz. Oh well. Soldier on up the rock face of death today. Oh my god. So we're at another gate. This is the last one. This is the last How one. How do you know? Well, basically, remember, there's only three, and we've had three. Okay. Um, that's it, and then I think then we turn to um, I think Digger's Rest is down there, so we might even go in and have a look. Cause I want to have a look. If it's might in, as well. We might even stay there tonight, do some washing. Yeah, we're on to our last Treat pair of undies. Treat ourselves to a shower. Yeah, that sounds Ooh. nice. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what he's saying. As soon as you head out of the gate, take a left. Okay. That's it. That's it. Well, apparently that's it. Now we're at the other end of the track. So there you go. The Kurunji track. Epic. Stock route. Oh. Guys, if you're <laughs> going to come out this way and go to the effort of doing the gib, yes. which most people do. Which everyone does. Which everyone does. If you come out here to the gib, you're going to do things like El Questra and stuff. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you doing this track? Do something a little bit different. Have the majority of it to yourself and like, experience what we just did. Like Catch is, a one meter barra. 